All right, we got another um, unboxing here, a little uh, mail call. Let's see what's in here. It's this person. I wish I could tell from the labels if it was whatnot or not, but like I said, I went a little crazy with the whatnot for a while. I had to dial it back until I can open all of these and sort through them and there was just a lot of found a lot of auctions that were some pretty good deals so I'm trying not to mess up what's in here. This one's, oh this isn't even uh Video games, this is die cast, so I collect die cast cars too. Use, this is a lot of Tamikas. And I do love Tamikas, but I prefer the old school ones from, remember the Tomy Pocket cars. I don't know if you guys remember those or not, or if you're into die cast at all. But these cars, I think I paid under 10 bucks a piece for them. And this one is an upgrade to the one I have. It's nice and clean. And then I didn't have one of these, so now I have two, and I'll take the cleanest one, and I'll sell the other. Um, these go for 15 to 20 bucks, sometimes 25, depending on how clean they are. So it's a nice little pickup there. And so. The upgrade and my extra one, and sure, I'm sure I can recoup my uh, losses there. I do do shows. Um, in fact, we're actually hosting our first show here in January in Rochester, New York. So it's going to be a toys, toy slash collectible show. You can bring anything you want to sell. Let me throw my flyer on here so you guys can see that too. In case you're nearby or if you wanted to make a trip, you could. Wow. I don't know what this guy was doing with this box. I'm trying to make something for shipping because he didn't have anything, I guess. Oh boy, more Atari. I see Atari under there. It's another big lot. So when they're big lots, Usually there's some higher value ones in there. And then there's some. Um, it's common. There's another Mario Brothers. See? Just keep snapping those up when I see them. Those go for like 35 bucks. And I bet you I paid a dollar or dollar or two each for these. So sometimes these labels are coming off too. If they're in good shape like that though. You can super glue them back on another one see the Parker Brothers ones have problems with their labels they don't like to stay on there Donkey Kong Jr. now these are Coleco so I don't actually have a Coleco um, console to test those it's kind of a nuisance uh, Zaxxon actually the Coleco ones are for the Atari I'm sorry if it says Coleco Vision on it that's for the ColecoVision game, and I can't test that Zaxxon. I love that game, too. Um, it's Pac-Man. And you can see these guys, this guy had like three bucks on these. And you had them labeled. But, um, that uh, Oscar trash can game, that one there. So they did an educational series on Atari, and... Those are usually worth some good money. Oscar's one of the harder ones to get. So here's a Zaxxon for the Atari 2600. Because it doesn't say ColecoVision, it just says Coleco. So now I can rock that game too. Let's see what else is in here. Demons to Diamonds. A little strawberry shortcake action for Parker Brothers. Another Ms. Pac-Man. Now, Ms. Pac-Man was really good. The original Pac-Man, I try not to buy many of those. Uh, G 
Junior Pac-Man there, Defender, Fast Foods, another one that's kind of a rare piece. Usually if you see an oddball shaped cartridge, they're a rare piece. They were made by third party companies and there's a Backgammon Super Breakout Combat. I wish these were vertical. There's another ET, but it's missing the end label. Two ETs. One's got the end label, one doesn't. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys, if you, if you collect Atari, you know the story about ET being the worst game ever. And uh, how Atari dumped a bunch of them in a landfill. It wasn't really Atari that did it. It was uh, like a distributor. Just couldn't sell him anymore, and he was going out of business. He had to get rid of his stuff, so he dumped everything he had in a landfill. Just happened to be a lot of those as well. There's another ET. Uh, Donkey Kong. Now, see, that's that's a real narrow. That's that's a weird cartridge there. So Donkey Kong by Coleco, but I don't know what it works on. I have to look closer at that. It says Sears. I don't think that works on the regular Atari, though. Or maybe it does. Let's compare it to... Uh, compare it to one that doesn't have the... So Atari had these little dust cover slides. When you put them in, it would release and slide in. It probably does work on the Atari. It's just a weirder cartridge casing. Okay, there's the Ernie one, the Alpha Bear Ernie game. I think all three of those are in here. There's a uh, Junior Pac-Man, but the cart is a little jacked up. Joust, another Joust. Love me some Joust. Another Donkey Kong, another Donkey Kong. Moon Patrol. These are all really good games. Um, G.I. Joe from Parker Brothers. Too bad the label's got that tape on. I'll see what I can do on that, but those are the harder ones to find. Qbert. Everybody loves me some Qbert. There's Popeye from Parker Brothers. Again, bad labels from Parker Brothers, always. Alien. Let's see Qbert. Last of these are another Cubert concentration without the end label. Donkey Kong. You'll see they can have these various labels. They're the same game, they just as the years progress, they change the labels up. So some people collect the silver labels, some collect the originals, some collect the this style label. Um, there's another Cubert. Here's a Parker Brothers Spider-Man, Parker Brothers Frogger, another Popeye, so I got some tonnage here in the uh, Atari realm here. I'm going to have to get busy selling some stuff. <laughs> Gotta put those in there so they're easier to view from the top here. I didn't have all three of those sesame sheets in there, just two of them. Actually, I think there's four. There's a Big Bird one and a Burt one as well. I should have made a Snuffleupagus one, but they did not. Here's the Ataris. Alright, next box. Got two more in this video. They're all bigger boxes this time. Hmm. A 
lot of bubble wrap here. You know, I try to save this bubble wrap to reuse it when I sell stuff, but God, it keeps piling up. Have a feeling this is another whatnot auction. Oh, maybe not. This is an Odyssey 2 lot that I bought. So when I was growing up, my neighbors had the Atari 2600. My parents bought me the Odyssey 2, which was actually at the time the graphics were way nicer. And not for nothing, but the artwork on these is fantastic. They open up like a book. Really, really nice artwork on these. So this was Speedway Spin Out and Crypto Lodge. That last one was hockey and soccer. I'm sure you could read the labels, but nice glossy boxes. There's a picture of the console itself. <clears throat> um, I think a couple of these I didn't have, so I ordered this lot to add them to my collection. The whole collection of these games, there might be 30 of them or so. Not that many. Um, Magnavox came out with the original Odyssey, and then they came out with the Odyssey 2. Um, and the Odyssey 2 lasted for a little while, but it kind of fell to the wayside like, like uh, Atari did when Nintendo came out. And so nobody could compete with Nintendo. They, they, Nintendo killed Sega, too. So, um, But... Go. This is the last box in this auction. This one. So this was a whatnot auction. And I'm going to show you this. They were... You, you would buy a lot. They were mystery bags. So you would... You bid 20 bucks and you'd win a mystery bag and then you'd pick it out. And... Um, I believe this one, each each time you bid 20 bucks, you also got an entry into a drawing for a free item. I believe, we'll count them up because they have five auctions there. I believe this NES was my free item. And I think I won the drawing for this NES. So I have a brand new, well not, say brand new. I have an NES, toaster style. Um, which he said works fine. There's one controller. There's the light gun. Orange light gun. I have a gray one already, so. Uh, power supply. The converter. The whole nine yards in there. I don't know if it gave me a second controller or not, but it was a win, so I got um, ice hockey. There's the Mario with Duck Hunt. I showed you I showed you the Mario by itself. And then uh Fester's which I believe is a duplicate for me, but. So these were little lots. So this was a Super Nintendo lot, and that's, uh... oh, that's Brunswick Bowling. And this is Wheel of Fortune. So. And again, you didn't know what you were going to get, so it was luck of the draw. PS3, that's uh, something extreme. I can't read it, but it looks like it was a Japanese version, which there are people out there collect. There's a Sega CD game here. That's uh, a 
Sewer Shark. Oh, I don't think I've ever played that game, and I don't have a Sega CD to test it on. Sometimes you end up with weird stuff, especially if you take part in those. And there was the Nerf, the Wii Nerf game, complete, and Wii Fit Plus, complete. I have a Wii Fit board and everything, so I could do those and I can try them out and see how they work. That is it for this auction, please, or this uh, video. Please like and subscribe. Again, I'm going to go through these and update you with a spreadsheet that shows the cost of all of these, what I kept for the collection, and what I'm going to <clears throat> resell, what I think I'll get for them. And as I sell the stuff, I'll track that too and show you how you can do this video game collecting and not have to pay for anything in the end because you do a little legwork and resell stuff. So thanks again. I look forward to seeing you next time and please like and subscribe if you like this content or let me know what you want me to do. Thanks. Bye.